It's mid-morning and all teams have one goal in mind, to get the tick of approval from Keith and Dan. So each year in the block, especially on bathroom week, we have a series of inspections. But you only want a floor inspection at this stage. So there's about five or six inspections that Keith and I have to monitor and tick off before tiling. So this is all just to avoid water leaks down the track. Gee, you're way ahead of everyone else, mate. We are? Everyone else is miles behind you. Awesome. Wow. That's even better to hear. All right, mate. But in house four, Keith's not feeling so upbeat about the progress. Keith approached me and said um, how, um, yeah, the carpentry is pathetic. It's not even close to being inspected. Okay. It seriously is pathetic. Look at the gaps everywhere. Look, this is un unprotected timber in a wet area. Yeah, isn't that? Look, look, at, look at your joints. Like, it's just, it's just crap. Little bits and pieces everywhere. This is this has been done by a five-year-old. If I had carpenters in here doing this work, I'd sack them straight away. You're not going to fire your builder. No. no, I'm not going to fire my builder. No way. Look, he's won a block. It's got nine hundred thousand dollars. They made. He's done Bianca and Carla's. And everyone makes mistakes. It's not a big deal. Yes. Yeah. But then Keith spots an error with the shower floor. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when the sheet comes over the top, we want to overlap. Of 100 mil. I can't see it happening with what you've got there at the moment. So this shower base frame has to come out. Carpenters had set up my shower fall a little bit out of the detail, which was on them. So she had to come up. So, boys, we'll just, um, we'll just pull, those, pull those joists out. I'm starting to think, though, you've got the wrong builder here. I've still got faith in my builder and my team. And, um, yeah, we'll get it done to a high quality, as we always do. Oh, I turned my back for five minutes, and the VLUX guys had set up in there to finish off their skylight, blocking where we um, needed to rip up. How long, you reckon? An hour. All right, make it half. All right. Good on ya. Whilst all this was happening, your jip rockers were standing around and getting paid, but they didn't have anything to do. I was just yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like bleeding money. We're just waiting to get in. So they've got to place the floor and then start our job then. How long have you been here? Oh, about an hour. OK, and you're on the clock. Yep. Look. Mate, we're supposed to inspect the wall before you start shooting. You get the OK off Dan myself before you start shooting. OK, no worries. If you had a bad day, I'm not going to make you pull them off. Yeah, right? OK. But that's what everyone else has done. Get their walls entirely ready, then they start shooting. Yeah, that's but I've had classes standing around for hours. Yeah, I know that, mate, but we've got rules in the block, right? Could have had jip rockers in there um, shooting walls, and then we fix the floor, and then we could put the floor down. But, you know, no, you can't. You have to. I have to tick off everything. It's so frustrating. No more shit. Yeah. Crystal clear. Yeah, I'm used to being my own boss at home. I was just about home. to say that. You're used to being your own boss on the work side. Yeah, I'm used to being my own boss and running my own tight ship, and I've got to, yeah, just adjust to that. Their ensuite is still without walls, and to add salt to the wound, the WA team now have to fork out 1700 bucks for their plasterers who stood around waiting all day. Do you need to be better at sending people home? No, because we were like, we were like in the hope that we could get sheets on that day. No, it, sounds, it does sound like other people send their, their trades home, that's all. Well, you, you obviously don't understand scheduling. I, and you I feel, You obviously don't yeah. understand while you're out at the shops. Yeah, I just, going forward, I'm just worried about it happening again and how we can make sure that doesn't well, ever happen learned. again. Well, we can learn. Yeah, but what would you do differently? Send them home. <laughs> OK, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, if I know I... that I'm not going to use them. What? It's hard if you say that you just said you couldn't do that because, yeah, because you I don't thought understand I was use scheduling. Them. Yeah, but you weren't there. You, you don't know. OK.
So it's Thursday morning, there was a lot of rain overnight, pools of water everywhere. Tell me the story. Well, at my neighbour's misfortune this morning, two of the houses either side of me were flooded. Bum -bum. Bum -bum. Well, as painful as yesterday was, it's... We've done a bit of a Bradbury. Ooh, Stephen Bradbury. He's going to be watching this, probably. It's going to get back to him. But it's where you're last in the race and then everyone falls over in the middle and you go like this. Choo. To the front. But I don't want to smile. <laughs> that, their ah. that their house is flooded. That, that two, two of the houses flooded. <laughs> um, but we, we got... We, Caught a rate this morning. I've got plasterers getting here in 20 minutes. I've got to just straighten out a couple walls, um, get the internals up and get it sheeted and waterproofed, and then get on with this room.